we're going to look at more CSS. So we're going to cover responsive web design. Nowadays, responsive web design is about using HTML and CSS to automatically resize, hide, shrink, or enlarge a website to make it look good on all devices, such as desktops, tablets, and phones. We want to examine fluid widths, media queries, relative units over absolute units, and a mobile-first design method. Let's go ahead and take a look at an example here. So in HTML responsive web design, responsive web design is about creating web pages that look good on all devices. Responsive web design will automatically adjust for different screen sizes and viewports. What is responsive web design? Let's go ahead and try it out. All right, so we're here at the example and we have this image over here. Let's go ahead and check this out. So I go to image, find this over here in the source. Our image and what we'll do is we'll modify the width so we'll go ahead and take the width and we will bring it down to 20 percent and then we can run it there we go now as we adjust the page the image will adjust with the page and go ahead and run it again now as we adjust the page the image adjusts with the page We'll continue to cover fluid widths, media queries, relative units over absolute units, and a mobile first design method. So, let's do a quick sprint review. We covered all this material in week one. Now we're going to go through and we're going to cover week two. So, what is typography? What is HTML structure? What are HTML lists? What are HTML tables? And what are HTML forms? And what is HTML5? This has been completed. So we'll go ahead and mark these as done. Good job, everyone, for answering these questions. And I challenge you to continue to ask yourself, you know, what do these concepts mean? How do they apply to what we're doing here? All right. So CSS media queries continued. So we have media types, and using media queries, if pop, media queries are a popular technique for delivering a tailored style sheet to desktops, laptops, tablets, and mobile phones such as iPhone and Android phones. We can look at style sheets and media queries, specifically using a link tag and a media attribute. Let's go ahead and click on this example here first. So what is a media query? A media query is a CSS technique introduced in CSS3. It uses at media rule to include a block of CSS properties only if a certain condition is true. If the browser is 600 pixels or smaller, the background color will be light blue. Let's try this example. Here we have our style, right? And we're changing this to light green. We have an at media. And at media only screen and max width at 600 pixels. So resize the browser in the window. When the width of the document is 600 pixels or less, the background color is light blue. Otherwise, it is light green. Let's go ahead and adjust it. There we go. I'll touch on CSS media queries here. So we have the at media selector, right? And we have max width the maximum width of the display area, such as the browser window. Min width, the minimum width of the display area, such as a browser's window. The and keyword combines a media feature with a media type or other media features. Let's go ahead and click on this. So in this case, we have a CSS at media rule, and we could change the background color of the body element to light blue when the browser window is 600 pixels wide or less. Let's go ahead and try this. Resize the browser window, and when the width of this document is 600 pixels or less, the background color is light blue. Otherwise, it is yellow. Now we have min width. The minimum width of the display area, such as the browser window. Let's go ahead and play this. So, 
using this at media, we can resize this. And the at media rule. We're seeing an example here where we resize the browser window and when the width of this document is 600 pixels or less, the background color is light blue, otherwise it is yellow. Now we'll look at the and keyword. So we're using that media rule and we have the and keyword. We resize the browser window, and when the width of this document is 600 pixels less, the background color is light blue, otherwise it is yellow. 